Our story begins with Takashi on a staircase skipping classes to clear his head. Takagi then found him and called him out for hiding instead of facing his problems before leaving. Takashi noticed a suspicious person at the school gate. School authorities went to check him out. One of them ended up getting bitten then started attacking the others. It turns out they are being turned into zombies. Takashi noticed and immediately went to warn his friend Ray so they could leave. The school then announced a violent event that's taking place and that everyone should evacuate. Everyone starts to panic while some try to gather what they can to be used as weapons, while students and teachers are rapidly turning into zombies throughout the entire school. While on the roof they noticed the city's catastrophic state. It's to the level where even the military had to intervene. They had to fight their way through in an effort to escape. In the school's infirmary Dr. Marikawa was about to be attacked by a zombie. Fortunately Sahiko came to her aid right on time. Meanwhile Takagi and Hirano found a tool room. Hirano with his engineering expertise and obsession for guns made a weapon using a nail gun. Here we see Takashi and Rei. Takashi told her that they should try and find survivors and head to his house for safety. Takagi analyzed the situation and noticed that the zombies only react to sound. They cannot see nor feel. Sahiko and Dr. Marikawa were making their way to the faculty room to get Dr. Marikawa's car keys to escape. They heard shots firing from that direction they're heading. It turned out to be Hirano. But then he ran out of bullets and Takagi was cornered by a zombie. She screamed out, everyone heard and ran towards it. They then worked together and killed the zombies. Everyone gathered in the faculty room where it's safe for a bit. A new broadcast is being shown stated that what was taking place is a worldwide pandemic. They decided to team up so they can find as much survivors as possible and escape. They managed to board a bus along with some other survivors. Not long after they had a falling out with Mr. Shido a perverted teacher and some other students who took his side. So they decided to leave the bus. Dr. Marikawa suggested they should just call it a day. She told them her friend owns a place in the area that she has access to and it's within walking distance from where they are. After arriving, the girls took this chance to wash up and rest. Meanwhile Takashi and Hirano broke into a safe they found and discovered some military-grade weapons. After loading the guns Hirano went outside and took look out on the balcony. Takashi went out and joined him. He noticed a little girl about to be attacked by a zombie. Hirano noticed as well and took the shot and killed it. Takashi decided to go and save her and rode off on a motorcycle, while Hirano provided him with cover. Takagi suggested that they should leave, stating that it's no longer safe after all the noise that was made from the shots that were fired. They gathered everything they could and loaded it up in the back of the truck. They made a clear opening so that Takashi could safely board the truck with the little girl. They drove off and managed to escape. The following morning, they made it across a river. While the girls got changed Takashi and Hirano planned their next move. They went up and surveyed to make sure the road was clear and safe to travel. Takagi House was the closest so they decided it should be their next stop. While on their way they encountered a massive swarm of zombies. They made a detour but a barricade was blocking the route. They were cornered and tried as much as they could to survive. To their luck all the shots were fired alarmed the fire department that came to their aid and leading the front line was Yuriko Takagi. The Takagi family uses their property as a refugee camp. So Akira Takagi showed up with a zombie on display. He stated that that specific zombie was his best friend. He went on and executed it. He then pleased to the people telling them they have to fight in order to survive no matter who it is. Here we see some people disagreeing with what Soakairo suggested, claiming that everything that is taking place is just an infectious disease and the people are not actually dead. They stated that killing them would be committing murder. Here we see Takashi tell Rei that he's going to leave to go search for his mother. Sahiko showed up telling him that he should take her and that she can be of some help. Meanwhile out at sea a soldier radios his captain telling him they received orders for a new emergency action code 666 Delta. 
The captain then radios the others in the submarine stating that the president has granted permission to commence the attack. A missile was then fired into the sky. We now see Dr. Marikawa calling her friend Rika. Rika asked if she was at her place but she told her it got dangerous and she had to leave and that she took some of her guns as well. In that same moment the phone was fried and a blinding light started glaring out of the sky. It is now clear that the missile that was fired was an EMP to shut down every machine on the planet. The electronic barricades are now useless and the zombies started to invade the property. Iriko and Sokairo stayed back to fight with the other men allowing Takagi and the others to escape. While on the highway they encountered more zombies on the way. So they decided to get out and fight. This is where this story ends for now. If you like my content feel free to like the video. And leave a comment. Make sure to subscribe so you won't have to miss any new uploads. Thank you for watching.